Hello to the Slip Mickle Ones, is everybody welcome you back to Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke Run. In the last episode, we challenged Whitney. And we won. Hooray! <laughs> That's all I have to say on that one. We got very lucky. For some strange reason, her milk tank refused to use rollout. I don't understand why. And I'm happy on it, even though her start was still annoying. Now, you guys are probably all been wondering GET THAT ITEM! Yes. T63 Embargo! You know what? I want one Pokemon Battle! And it's a Ditto! Dun dun dun! Okay, that was early. Yeah, as you can tell by, um. Hmm, what should I even switch into on this one? You know what? Flash. As you can tell by Abra's experience, I gained him up some experience off screen, mostly due through the um, mostly through the daycare, so he doesn't, so I didn't have to worry about him dying. <laughs> Actually, I might not be able to get him to evolve, so I'm splitting the experience through three Pokemon. Okay, I'm running away. Can't escape! Okay, I'm cutting. Nope, Abra didn't get the level because I was splitting it between three Pokemon. Okay, I gotta heal again. Okay, now that we're done with that. Off screen, I've been doing collecting coins. Don't, Still don't have too many because I swear sometimes the luck is fully against me. So, the agenda for today's episode is we're going north. We are going to finally progress. Trainer! Are you going to the gym? Me too! <laughs> Sorry on the delay, I was questioning like, wait, what's she trying to say? A picnicker Kim. Oh my god, it's Kim Possible! Okay, as you can tell, Abra has no way to attack. Vulpix. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, cookie... Yeah, good cookie. We might have two evolutions this episode, but we'll see how things go. <laughs> Alright, since that was physical, not much to worry about. Bubble Beam! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I know Rock Tomb probably would have been more effective due to the fact it's physical, but I feel like that move doesn't even hit as much as it should. Just launch up another Bubble Beam. Oh, that should be the end of all picks. I think Vulpix is our only Pokemon! I didn't really check how many she had before as we started. <laughs> My bad! Abra level 16, Abu Ya. Okay, it was her only Pokemon. Really was impossible for her to win. What a bar! And yes, I know I do not have a nickname on Kadabra, but that's because I don't really know what to name it just yet. I will think of something off screen, but for now it's sticking with its original name. Okay then, time for more battles. I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm a star. Okay, that could seriously be taken the wrong way if you think about it. <laughs> Camper Elliot sends out a scene through. Okay, this actually shouldn't be that hard now that it's, I'm evolved. Yep, one shotted. <laughs> oh, and my rules on determines of evolving my Pokemon that evolved by trading, because as I've just noticed, I have three of them. I have Kadabra, Ghastly, and Geodude. They all evolve, and they're the Kanto ones. If I had Machop, I'd have all the Kanto Pokemon that evolve by trading. <laughs> that would that be mental. I can't believe it. I just realized that. So my rules on actually when I'm going to evolve them, it's going to be on the 30 plus in the levels, determining on if they have any moves that I want them to learn, but they can't learn when they evolve, I will keep them in the second stage until they learn it. Then I will evolve it. 
I will show it on screen if you guys really want me to. It's not that hard, sort of. And uh, if they don't have any moves that I want them to learn, then I'll probably evolve them instantly at level 30. I was going to switch to Flash on this one to get some experience, but I'm sticking in since it's a Pikachu. But then again, I think that would be a fitting death for Flash to be killed off by a Pikachu! <laughs> I'm sorry. Friend Flash Zephyr, um, he's been in some of my videos before. He really, really hates Pikachu. And to think, if things went the original route and Ash would have had Clefairy as his main partner and not a Pikachu, ah, he would really hate Clefairy instead. How ironic would that have been? I feel like it would have gone that way. Because he's told me that the only reason he doesn't like Pikachu is because he's like the most iconic, he's absolutely everywhere, and he just doesn't like him. <laughs> so yeah. Ah, switch to Spider. Okay then. <clears throat> I've been getting Pokemon data off my radio. I think I'm good. Okay. Oh yeah, the one thing I forgot. Uh, the uh, the password thing. And it's too early still to do it now. So, we got Giglet. Down for some ghosts. You know something? I still question how the heck Diglett can use Scratch. Case in point. Does it hit me with its nose? Does its nose have little hairy fangs that it scratches with me with? Or does it scratch me with its dazzling glare? Because I can understand it using tackle. But why scratch? It doesn't make any sense. And plus the fact that it learns slash later on. It just doesn't make any sense that that thing can use scratch. Unless you're telling me it jumps out of its hole revealing its underside that you cannot I, we're never gonna see. Beep, 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 beep. And of course. Subak can't do too much damage to Flash, but I have a feeling Confusion might get the best of him. I can just get off one more gust though, Zubat will be down. Yep, typical. Hurt like Confusion again. Flash, you're so dumb that you're so confused! Gotta learn to chill, bruh! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely not beating it into one shot now. What? Don't you dare, Flash. FLASH! Flash, I know life is hard, I know it's confusing, but can you please try to mellow? Just a little? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta heal because Flash is too dumb for his own good! Luckily, the only move Zubat knows is Leech Life and Supersonic at this point at level 10, so it's not really much of a threat. But he's being a pest. Gust. Don't you dare! Oh, come on! That's four turns in a row! Four turns of being hurt by confusion! Watch this, I'm gonna have the full five turns and he's gonna get hit again! You watch, Flash is that dumb. He snaps out of it. Maybe he's not as dumb as I thought. Maybe he has 5% on accu on IQ. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually like being horrible mean to him. We're friends. We do this kind of thing. I have nothing against him. We've known each other for quite a long time. This is just what friends do. Now then. Ah, all that trouble for barely any experience. I have absolutely no idea how well Flash is going to take a hit from this Diglett, so I'm going to use a potion. Bloop. I have to use Flash on these ones because the next trainers are a little bit difficult for Flash to deal with. One of them has four Volt Orbs. I don't know if they have an electric move, but I'd rather not take the chance on it. Yeah, you can't know my accuracy, Dig Dig. Dig Dug. Dig Dug. Dig 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 Dig. No, the ghost. <laughs> you wait for it again? Bye. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it survived. Quick attack! That's what makes quick attack so good, especially if you're slower than the opponents. And they barely have any health left. Yes! 18. 
Flash, you finally get to evolve. My Flash evolves into Pidgeotto. <coughs> Yay! Flash has finally evolved! It took two playthroughs, but it finally happened. And I'm switching to Roxy. The moment of glory has been diluted. Your turn. Behold my dexterity on grace. I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> this guy has the four Voltorbs. I believe it starts at level two? Yeah, level two. How redonkulous is that thing? Eh, I'm just gonna magnitude his entire team. I believe it goes from level 2 and his highest one being level 14. And I'm pretty sure it's level 14 one, no shockwave. Either that or I'm thinking of Watson from Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Two sevens in a row. Can I get three sevens for a full on jackpot? I'd say if I can get a jackpot. Aww, but Roxy just grew to level 18. That means I don't want Roxy to stay ourselves. <laughs> no! <laughs> I am not going Kapakazi. I admit, that would be good as a backup move if I would ever, ever need to. But I don't want to do it. Okay, Gaster, I believe, does possess Nightshade, so Gaster can do some damage, and if it only knows Tackle, it can't hurt me. It knows Charge. If it has an electric move, that could be dangerous. Luckily, I do set my damage, as raising your special defenses are going to help you. Aww. <laughs> Okay, you're done for. I forget what level Ghastly evolves. I'll put it up on screen if I remember to do that in editing, but I think it's level 22? I think. And you withdraw. Why? I withdraw Voltorb for an even stronger Voltorb. She did. And you're still going down in two shots. Oh, crap. So I was right on an electric move. I survived. <laughs> bye, Voltorb. I said bye, Voltorb! Thank you. <laughs> My goodness. Yes, I went for Lick. Pray I don't get static. I just didn't see the point of using Nightshade. Watch me needed it. Yay, I didn't get paralyzed. That's quite a chunk on experience. That's practically halfway to the next level. Too bad I won't be getting that next level, because this Voltorb's four level lower than the other one. Voltorb a D. Yeah, didn't think so. Whew, that was a jot! Shocking pun, dude. Har har har. <laughs> yeah, I saved all the slow pokes, uh, get the number. Sure. Uh, at least he knows my heroics. Wow, gee, thanks! Now I can call you anytime whether whether anything's up or not. You know, just a chat. Okay, you sounded cocky on that one. Um, I have Gaster back in the lead. Even though I don't feel too confident using Gaster against this trainer. Oh wait, hold on, I might want to heal up just a wee bit. I still got a rare candy. Everybody, ugh, it's not, it ain't worth it. Do I have, how many orange berries do I possess? 11, I'm gonna use the orange berries. I have to say, I'm shocked I have so many berries. Especially at the point where I'm still not able to grow them yet, but thank you, uh, shards. I mean, look how many berries I possess already. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy how many berries I have, and I can't even grow them yet. The annoying thing, though, about Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver is, though, growing berries is annoying. I mean, you only get four pots. 
as you'll see later on. I don't know if it'll be this episode, it might not. Because we're already at 16 minutes, and we're only just on this route. Maybe I should have sped this up. Uh, I'll probably speed up the National Park trainers. I do want to battle every trainer because my Pokemon are starting to get a little underleveled. As you notice from the, set of the third gym, Whitney's strongest Pokemon was level 19, my strongest was level 18. Yeah, one level lower, but memory serves me right, the fourth gym leader, Morty, his strongest Pokemon, I believe, is level 25? If I'm right, he's eight levels higher than me. So, I really need to get my levels up if I'm gonna beat him. There are a fair few trainers between here and Morty, so I should be okay. But we'll see. Having full six team at this point in the game just doesn't feel like it expressed the experience that much. That smoke screen did Magmar no good whatsoever. Shell bell kicked in. Caster level 18. Booyah. Well, that was a chunk. Another Magmar. Confusion. By the way, we actually have a chance to catch Magmar soon. I forget if I caught a Rattata, I don't think I have. Ba 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 dee da. Oh crap. Okay, that didn't do too much. Wow, that smoke screen really has not been helping him out. I am not complaining. He's confused, please get hurt by confusion. Yes! Oh yeah, I didn't think he'd beat! Level? Level! Learn Disable, that could be useful. I've had some moments where Disable has actually been good, so I'm probably going to hold on to that for a while. Yeah, sure. I mostly breathe fire, but I want to exchange the phone numbers. Uh, I'll stop breathing fire while talking on the phone. <laughs> okay. Well, I actually had a thought about this route's catcher. I was going to head for trees because once again, there's a chance for execute. But I've decided to go wild Pokemon through the grass because I'm praying for a certain Pokemon. Dupes claws, this isn't it. Ba, ba, ba. Sorry. Honestly, I... Uh, I don't really know. Ah, the right species, wrong gender. <laughs> Neither Anne. Okay. Have to catch this thing. I don't think this Neither Anne can do anything to me. I think it might have poison sting, but I four times resist it, so I've got nothing to worry about. So, yeah, scratch. I'm just gonna lick it to death. So how about I just speed this up, and I'll meet you once I'm ready to catch this thing. Beep. Okay, let's try catching it now. Go! Boop, boop, boop. One, two, three, captured! And I sort of got a nickname for this one. It's very generic though for its evolution. I might use it. I've been thinking about trying out uh, Nido Queen. I mean, it's got. I know it's the more of the bulky between Nido, uh, Nido Queen, and Nido King. I feel like I spelled that wrong, <laughs> but you know what I was going for, Queen. Okay. Um, I don't. Uh, those trainers there. I don't really feel like battling at this exact moment in time. Okay, so today is not the day of the bug catching contest. That's alright. One of the things I want to show off today is over here. Something that was introduced in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. The Pokemon Dome. Mwahaha! Hmm? I feel it. The twinkle in your eyes. The twinkle of friendship. 
What is this, My Little Ponies? Uh, you're quite something. Your Krabby is quite a Pokemon. It's ready to participate in the Pokemon, bird. Most of all, most of all, if you're solitarily with trust Pokemon, won't we believe in the infinite potential? Alright, follow me. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. Honestly about that. How many times did I say that word? <laughs> I have no idea what the hell he said. This is the Pokeathon Dome. Sports trainers, we can do various challenges, tests, and stuff like that, which will earn us points. I ain't gonna do it yet, because we're already over 20 minutes in the episode. He's going in, and we'll never see him again. His poly Raph seems to like me more than him. <laughs> okay, memory sends me right about this area. Should be, yep, a protein. Very nice. Let's see. Protein raises your physical attack, so I'm giving that to Cookie. Make his physical attack strength better. I believe there are other things around here. Each Pokemon has unique traits. Um, you heard about reduce to increase their performance with food and drink. Develop nutrition to improve performance. Drink before the event and it shows its true potential. I actually never knew that. What? How did I never know this? I have a feeling she's talking about that cart we saw. This thing. Energy drink! Huh? What? You look confused, but you don't know what that produces. Yeah, I don't. Here, take this. The arrow blender. Ble what? Okay, this is the first time I've ever heard of this. When you have the arrow blender, you can make uh, arrow juice, which uh, you show your Pokemon's true potential. It's easy to make. All you have to do is put apricorns in the arrow blender and put in as many as you can. The more, the merrier. Then you walk. You can run if you want, 98, 99, 100 steps. Here's the open to Pokemon to drink, or drink it yourself. Why would I drink it myself? It's not like I'm participating. Shall it work? Shall we have any more questions? Uh, I understand, I suppose. I'm going to look into that, because I might be doing some of the Pokeophons off screen, but I will show a run on one of the things, but not this episode. I will actually do that as part of the uh, beginning of the next episode. Traveling Pokemon, running, jumping, to some of the events. Yeah, that's something I need to show off, actually, about this place. These here, these are your stats for the Pokemon Fun. You got speed, power, skill, stamina, and jump. Depending on the stars determines the Pokemon's actual uh, talents. As you can see, my cookie has very good stamina, meaning he can last quite a while out there on the field before he has to return to take a break. And he's also very strong. And he's a decent jumper, but he's very slow. Kadabra is very fast. He's decent in everything except for power. Ghastly is pretty decent in stam stamina, skill, and jumping, but poor in the others. Jid is good there. It, wow! Pidgeotto is actually pretty good in almost everything. And Megarita is pretty good in power. Stanima though, sucks. That's odd for a bulky Pokemon not to have good Stanima. That is very confusing. Okay, let's show you this place. By the way, familiar face ahoy! Whitney! Hi, LP Maker. Are you coming to the... Here for the Pokemon Pokemon. Me too! I've been so excited since the construction. I closed the Golden Rods. It's close to the Golden Rod City, you know. What? Huh? You're going to participate in the Pokemon looking like that? Oh thanks a lot. You're not prepared at all, are you? So are you a medium or a small? I'm a game character! <laughs> Look more like a medium, okay, I'll get a jersey, best was don't you wait right there. This is just for you. We got the jersey! So now we can... This is like a different version of the Pokey Contest. And she's gotta go back. We're not gonna participate right now. But I just wanna show off some things. As you win, you get points. Or as, as well as participate. But if you win and get big scores, you get a lot of points. And you can spend the points right here. New Earth Tron, yeah, and Pokemon Exile, first, yeah, but new Balls Red J, Pokemon. 
At least I think it's here. Prizes. Again. Here we go. Prize exchange. This actually changes daily. So what you see here is not 100% guaranteed for like your actual day or whatever. I think it's always different depending on the days. Right now we can 200 points get red apricorns, uh, blue apricorns and black apricorns. 100 points can get some moo moo milk. 3000 points will get me a king's rock and 1000 points will get me a heart scale. As I said this will change daily so the next episode there will be different prizes. But this is a place you can actually get the evolutionary stones, firestone, waterstone, leaf stone, you can get them right here. I think also the dusk stone, the dawn stone, and the shiny stone. I think you can also get them here. I'm not 100% sure, I'll stick something up on the screen if I'm right or wrong. Probably I'm wrong. But that's pretty much it. I believe this is multiplayer. And this here is single player. Too bad I don't have anybody to play multiplayer with. Otherwise, this would be a hell lot more fun. Whew. Wow, I spoke a lot. So, that will actually do it for this episode. Sorry there weren't really too much progress. In the next episode, I'll speed up the majority of the battles, so that way we can get a bit more progress and maybe make it to the next town in the next episode. But yeah, hope you guys have all enjoyed, and in the next episode, we're going to do some Poklea fun. I will do some off-screen to earn some more points. Uh, before the episode, then I will record by uh, doing one. There's nothing special on your first attempts whatsoever, so it doesn't matter if I did it now or if I did it in 20 days after playing it like a billion times. It doesn't make any difference. So, once again, I hope you've all enjoyed. Please comment, like, subscribe if you if you enjoyed the episode. It helps out tremendously, and I enjoy your comments. I see some comments saying like uh, you've really enjoyed the video, didn't know this stuff like that. Actually, really makes my day. So, I will see you all next time, where we're going to take on the Pokeophon and continue forward. See ya! Krabby, sign us off! Cookie looks very happy. Me too! Bye bye!